What's up guys, I'm Wayne Bettis. We are here at HEP2O and we're gonna show you how to install HEP2O pipework under a kitchen sink. Let's go and have a look. We're here to second fix a kitchen sink. Um, what we've got to do is connect the hot and cold supply pipes to the kitchen tap and we've also got to leave hot and cold connectors ready for the dishwasher and washing machine. The first fix has already been complete, which means there's hot and cold in the cupboard and we're just making these final connections. So we're here, we're gonna be installing a kitchen sink and a couple of isolators for a dishwasher and washing machine. The water is already isolated, so we're safe to proceed. Uh, what we're gonna do first is put the inserts in the hot and the cold pipe, nice and simply like so. Then what we will do is get one of the pipes and we push on. Nice, and again, very, very simple to do. A little twist to ensure that we feel the rumble and that makes sure that we're that the pipe and the joint is safe and it's in for sure and we do the same on the other pipe there we go lovely jubbly so that's all done and uh, we're going to repeat that process over here for the hot and cold isolators that can be used for the dishwasher or washing machine um, so we've already put the insert in and we push in. Whenever you're doing this, just make sure your valves are off, just so if anyone ever turns the water back on. Uh, we've already got the insert in, so we're gonna do the same there, and we're making sure that valve is off. Now this is all ready, the hot and cold are gonna be working, and the two isolators are ready for connections for washing machines or dishwashers. Uh, that's it, all done. And that is it. It really is as simple as that. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please post in the comments below.